Hey guys, what's up? Josh and Hunter here with Josh and Hunter's Adventures. We're going to show you today how we do European mounts. All right, so we got a couple bucks here that uh, was killed this past November. Um, I'm going to show you guys what you need to uh, to do a European mount and how to do it. Um, so first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a uh, like a propane uh, cooker. This one right here is a uh, uh, just a, a fish fryer base uh, and then this pot is uh, just I'm not sure what size pot it is um, but you're obviously going to need uh, a very sharp knife uh, and a pair of gloves if you want to use gloves and some old clothes because after you skin these out and you cook them for you know uh, to loosen up what little bit of meat that you can't get off you take a pressure washer and you spray it off uh, and so all that meat and fat and everything is coming off, but it's also going to get on you too So you're going to want to make sure that uh, you have some old clothes on because you are going to get dirty um, <clears throat> If you took this to a taxidermist it would cost you probably a hundred dollars a piece So there's two hundred dollars right here in two bucks. So it's a whole lot cheaper Just to do it yourself when you probably already got the stuff to do at your house if you've got like a turkey fryer or a uh, fish fryer or something. Um, but uh, so we're going to uh, jump right into it and show you guys what we do. Stick with us. All right guys, so basically um, what you got to do is is we have to take all this hide off. So we have to cut it all off the skull because that's what we want is the skull and the horns. So uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to start cutting. Uh, I'll cut right up off the back here. And then uh, down the nose, just be careful. You don't want to cut, scratch the skull or anything. So uh, I'm going to start uh, caping it off here. And uh, you guys can uh, see how we do it. Alright, so we've got it all caked out right here. Uh, obviously, it's not very pleasant to look at right now, but you have to take the lower jaw off. Um, so you got to cut down through here, and you're just going to, as you cut, you just pry little by little. Um, so uh, we are going to start cutting uh, on that one, and then uh, we should be really close on being able to put it in the water. So uh, I'll get to cut the jaw off. Alright, guys, so I've got it cut down. You can see this last little piece of its uh, spine is stuck on there. I just cut all the way around it, basically what it is. There's just two little, I guess it's ligaments, I guess. I'm not a, a doctor, but just pop them loose right there and 
comes right out. All right, guys, so we got the first one done. Uh, you, like I said, you got to remove that bottom jaw. Um, I got to cut the pot on while it's doing that. Probably go ahead and cut the eyes out because the more that you try to cut off here is the less that you got to blow off, which I mean, it's a whole lot easier to blow it off with a uh, pressure washer, but uh, uh, it's uh, it's easier if you can just cut it off. Uh, so while that water's heating, I will go ahead and probably cut the eyes out. Uh, and then uh, while that one is in here uh, uh, heating up, again, you don't want to overcook them because it will make the bone, the skull, very brittle. Uh, you just want to heat it up enough just to loosen the meat up. You're wanting to simmer. You're not wanting to boil. Uh, just simmer the meat. Uh, then you'll take the pressure washer and we'll show you how to do that and blow it right off of there. Okay. Um, it's just heating up pretty good here. Like I said, you just want to do it in a simmer. Add just a little bit of dish uh, detergent. This is Dawn. It'll break the it's a uh, it'll break that the greases down in the fat and it'll break it down and it'll make it come off a whole lot easier. Hunter, give it a little bit in there. A little bit more. That ought to be good. All righty. So when this gets heated up, we'll set it down in there. And as much as you can cut off. Of the deer before you put it in there the better off you are um, again I'm going to try to set it in there uh, with this board here so it doesn't fall all the way down in there just like that you don't want to really set it down in there and get the horns in there um, Again, you, you just sort of want it just like that right there. Get a little close up. See how um, right here, see you don't want the, the base of the horns down in there. Um, it can have some off color, make it turn a little bit off color. But um, like I said, just be patient, let it let it simmer. Don't boil it because, and you don't want to overcook it because uh, it, like I said, it, it can make the skull brittle, okay? So, uh, we'll watch it here, and then, uh, I've got a loud mouth chicken over here, too. I mean to tell you, you hush. Sorry, so. Okay, guys, uh, so basically, I bought this a while back, uh, just for cleaning deer heads. It wouldn't be probably very good for, uh, uh, like fresh wash in your house, but, uh, it's a 1750 PSI, bought at Harbor Freight on sale. Black Friday, I think, is when it was. It's actually electric, but it runs off water. So, that's what we use. So, I'm going to show you what we do. All right, so pretty clean right now. Just gonna have to uh, just pick a few a little pieces off, but um, especially right in there. Um, but it's uh, it's pretty clean. It's not not exactly white as what we're gonna get it, but that when we bleach it, um, that's when it'll come really white. All right, so what Hunter's doing is he's just trying to find any little bitty scrap pieces. He can pick off this one. Anything that you can get. If you don't get it, it'll... Chance that it could start to smell, you know. You don't want to smell. Need to clean off every little bit you can. It Every bit of it needs to be off. Just pressure wash it really good. Alright guys, so we got them all clean. Got them all done. 
all we got to do now is take some wrap, wrap it around the horns real good. That way we, in case we get any on there when we're uh, actually uh, putting the peroxide on, just wrap it around there really good and tight. Right there around the bottom of that burr. Alright, so I'll go ahead and wrap this other one. Get this other side wrapped. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to paint it on. We've got uh, the horns wrapped, both sides. And uh, got this shook up real good. Not that it really, really matters, I guess. But I'm going to go ahead and flip one of them over and let's do the bottom side first. Go ahead and get the one that you're not working on out of there. Okay. Let's see here what we got. Make sure you get the horns out of there. Now, what you're going to want to do is, Hunter, pick it up and roll it around. What you're trying to do is get all that inside of there and that brain cavity that I poured it in there, roll around in there. And if you do happen to get any on the horns, you can, you can color them back. Um, I'll right, get you some there and paint it on there, buddy. Show you guys what it looks like in the morning. Okay, guys, uh, it's the next morning. Uh, it's been uh, soaking for about 12 to 14 hours with that peroxide. Uh, probably can't really tell a whole lot right now, but we're gonna go in and wash it off. And I covered up the horns. That way, when I'm washing it off, none of the peroxide splashes up on the horns. So I'm gonna take it in, wash it off, and then we'll see what the uh, See what they look like, see how white they got. Got everything washed off, all the plastic off. Um, see how they turned out? Um, they're really white. Uh, probably hold them up against this right here. I'll show you guys what they look like. You can see up against that red how white they are. Bring it over here closer there, Hunter. See how white? All right, so. Guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, maybe uh, you guys can do this, uh, you know, on your your deer, save you about a hundred bucks a piece. So, uh, uh, guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. That way, you guys know the next time we put out videos. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe you learned something from it. Um, we got a lot more videos to come, so uh, be looking for those. Uh, as always, this is Josh and Hunter for Josh and Hunter's Adventures. We'll see you next time, guys.